Hey what's up guys welcome back to another video and today we are comparing the Snapdragon 730G with the Helio G90T. So let's start with the display. In terms of display the 730G can support up to Quad HD resolution and the Helio G90T only Full HD+. So the clear winner would be the 730G here for high resolution support. In terms of CPU, the 2x cryo cores based on Cortex A76 are clocked at 2.2 GHz while the other 6 cores are Cortex A55 and are clocked at 1.8 GHz. While all 8 cores are clocked at 2.05 GHz in Helio G90T, one uses Cortex A55 while the other uses Cortex A76 and the clear winner here would be the Helio G90T and that is because of the higher clock speeds which will help really really fast processing. The next thing process. Both are based on fairly new systems. One is based on 8 nanometer and one on the 12 nanometer and the clear winner here would be the Snapdragon for better efficiency in battery life. The next thing is the GPU. In terms of 730G, it uses the Adreno 618, the other one uses 800MHz Mali G76, both are clocked at 800MHz, but the win winner would be G90T because it is performing better and it has a higher benchmark score. Connectivity, both are fairly new and both are using Wi-Fi 5.0, Bluetooth 5.0, but the NFC support is only available for 730G and better modem is present in 730G. It has a 800 megabit per second download and upload speeds, so it clearly wins in terms of the modem support and is really good. Let's get to the cameras and it can support 192 megapixel single or 22 megapixel dual cameras with 4K 30fps, while on the other hand the G90T can support 24 plus 16 megapixel on the dual one and 64 megapixel single camera with 4K Ultra HD but it cannot support the playback of that clip so it could be useless. I mean not useless but still Snapdragon 730 wins because of better resolution support. In terms of benchmarks the 730G has 220,000 on average and on Geekbench it has 2500 on single core and 6963 on multi core. In terms of Antutu on G90T, it has 280,000 on average in Antutu and 7,100 on Geekbench in multi-core and 2,500 on single-core. The conclusion is for daily use both are fine but Snapdragon would be better for battery life and efficiency. In gaming aspect, the G90 will be performing better but it can be heating. So that was it for the video, hope you guys like it. And make sure to subscribe for more videos like this. This is Aurelia. I'm signing out. Peace out.